Hey, what's up everybody? It is DJ Jer here with Shop Time, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what addresses are in DMX and how in, how in Show Express you can actually create your own. If you can't find the profiles in Show Express or some of your other softwares, uh, you have to build your profiles. Uh, and basically it's the properties, so the channels, if it's 12 channels, what exactly is each channel doing? So I'm gonna walk you through that here. Uh, let me see. Let's go with we're gonna go with this first. So basically understanding exactly what uh, what each channel does, what each channel means. So we're actually going to create the profile. This is the wash effects two. I'll show you here. The new wash effects two. Um, basically it is a RGB UV, R being red. G being green, blue being B being blue, and then UV obviously being ultraviolet. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into um, right here where it talks about DMX linking or the quick reference guide. Uh, it talks about the DMX channels. There's 28 channel, which is a pretty complex. It will actually allow you to video, or not video map, it'll actually allow you to pixel map the fixture, um, but for simplicity's sake and for time's sake, we're going to build it in eight channels. So our first channel, channel number one, is going to be red. So basically, as you can see here, when the value is zero, it's at 0% brightness. When it's at 255, it's at 100% brightness. And same thing with green, blue, ultraviolet, and then the strobe rate, um, and then also the auto programs and the program speed. So there's certain built-in programs that the fixture has. You can speed those up or you can slow them down by using number seven, and then the dimmer itself. So what that does, and I, I like the fact that they added that. I don't believe the first, uh, the, the Wash FX one had that option where a full dimmer. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature where you can completely dim everything. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Um, I'm gonna open up Show Express and I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna share Show Express. Um, actually, I'm going to share Desktop 2. Now you should be able to see Show Express. We're gonna jump back and forth here a little bit. Um, and let's do, whoops, not that. We're going to go here. And then we're just gonna leave this here. All right, so here we can at least see the values of everything, what each channel does. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I actually just created a light show that we're gonna call test. So we're starting from scratch. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to add fixture. And what this does is it brings up all the different, um, all the different manufacturers. I mean, everything you can think of, there's probably a manufacturer for it. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new fixture. So when you click on that, we're going to call this wash effects two. We're gonna click okay. And then as you notice, it's an eight channel fixture is what we're going to do. You can do 28, but it's not always gonna pop up um, with what you want. If you're doing a three channel fixture, it's still gonna pop up as eight. Eight's kind of the default. So just click okay when you have the number of channels. And then we're just gonna start it out at 001. You can actually change that address to whatever you want it to start at. But since this is a blank canvas, we're starting at 001 and you can see that it goes to 008. So our next fixture has to be at least 009 if we're doing a whole different fixture or a whole different type of fixture. So number of fixtures, I can add 50 of these in if I wanted to, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna patch this one. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to double click on this button right here or this uh, where it filled into our, our graph. We're gonna double click that because what that's gonna do is give us our properties. Now this is where we basically start putting this information from the uh, from the manual and we start plugging it into here. So the first thing we're gonna do, a lot of this is gonna be double click. You're just gonna double left click and it's gonna give you this option to edit the channel. Now channel one, which is the one we're working with is red. So you're gonna click on the red and then you're gonna hit, uh, or you're gonna double click red, there you go. Uh, number two, we're gonna double click two and then you're gonna double click green. Now, since number three is blue, we're going to double click three, we're gonna find our blue, and we're gonna kick blue. 
Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get pretty technical with this, you can actually put these percentages in there, but with a colored diode, it's not really going to make a difference. Um, when you start getting into some of these auto programs, and there's zero through zero zero five zero zero six through zero two zero then that's where you're going to want to maybe start putting some of that information in here on the levels so that way when you open it up in um in editor you can actually see what each program where it separates the differences and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about with that but i'm going to go ahead and start keep i'm going to keep clicking on all of these and get these all filled out uh, number five is going to be your strobe which is a lightning bolt, right? Where is it? I know it's here. That's your strobe dimmer. Here we go, strobe. And then number six, auto programs. Now most of them that um, are already done for you, they'll have uh, a lot of their programs. It looks like a little gear. And I cannot find anything today. Um, I know you guys are all yelling at me. It's right there. It's right there. Mode. Sorry, it's different. Mode. And then we're gonna go mode speed, which is going to be oh, there's your there's your color mode if you're doing anything in colors. Um, and then there's also your macro effects. So speed, we will go with that. It really can be anything you want it to be. And the last one's gonna be dimmer. Um, and that's usually just this one right here. So now I have all of those profiles uh, or all those channels set. Basically it matches up with exactly what I have here. Now what I'm going to do is just because there is a little bit more complexity into number six, we're going to open up, whoops, we're going to click on number six and we're going to add a level just by clicking on this add level button right here. Now when you double click that, it's going to give you what exactly do you want to edit. So 001 to 005 is no function. So we're going to go with a no function and we're going to change the max to 005 and our minimum is zero. So we're just going to click okay and we're going to hit enter. Our next one is going to be 006 through 20. So we're going to double click that and that is program number one. So these right here, you'll see P and you'll see M. This is movement, this is program or pattern. As you can see, it says pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on pattern one, and then we're going, as you can see, it automatically goes up to six because we've already used five. We can't use five again. So our max is going to be 20. We're gonna hit enter, and you'll see pattern number one, which you see right here, program number one, is 006 through 20. So I'm gonna keep doing that, and I will bring you back here in just a little bit, so that way we can kind of keep moving and, uh, we can, we can dig into this a little bit deeper. So as we're finishing up here, I'm on pattern 16, which is obviously the last pattern in auto programs. Um, so we're going to finish that one up, 231 to 255, enter. So your list should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You should have 17 including the no function, which basically does nothing. So it turns off any pattern options that could be uh, possible for this fixture. It allows you to use the RGB UV color mixing. Uh, so then we're going to hit save. Um, we're gonna go into movement macros, which is basically our auto program speed with channel number seven. So we're just gonna do that one quick, whoops. We're going to insert and zero, zero, uh, zero through 250, so we're gonna go 250, and then that is going to be slow to fast. So for a speed slider, um, it's going to look like this. There's your speed control. You're gonna hit enter, enter, and then we need to add one more, so 255, or I'm sorry, 251 to 255 is going to be your sound active, which is gonna look like a speaker. So there's your sound active. Enter, enter. We're gonna hit save. We don't need to do anything with dimmer just because it's only one thing. Um, it's just this one channel. So we're gonna close that, and then we're gonna save the address uh, just by clicking Save DMX. 
And then here is your little icon. Um, there's a different video where you can learn how to change that look of what that icon looks like to make it look like the fixture. So go check out that video. But what we're gonna show you, or what I wanna show you is in steps. So here's our fixture, our A-channel fixture. And you'll notice that, we'll open this all the way up. You'll notice that as you scroll this up, this gets brighter in color in red, so intensity. You can see how much the intensity that's coming from that channel. Now when I start mixing in some green, or actually when I start making, mixing in some blue, you're gonna see this color change to more of a purple and a pink. And basically what's happening is you're color mixing and it's showing that you're using these two options, red and blue, and you're mixing it and it's creating this color. So um, obviously if you had the fixture, you'd be able to see that happening live when you turn on your DMX right here and connect it to uh, your Show Express box. But what I wanted to show you was in mode, um, all those different options that we did, you're gonna see it says program one. As we scroll up, it's gonna show program two, three, four, five. So you know where the separation is. If you didn't put those in there, then basically you're guessing when those programs are gonna change. Another cool thing is if you right click, excuse me, if you, if you single click, there we go, on, uh, on this area right here, then it's gonna pop up all the different pattern options that you put into the system. So hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can always reach me at, uh, on the YouTube channel. Make sure you message below if you have any questions. If you're looking for any other videos that aren't currently out there yet, um, but there's a ton of videos that we've already put out there, so help yourselves to those. This is DJ Jero with Shop Time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.